in the Course where Jesus says, You are not asked to see your brother without the body. The real question you should ask yourself is, do I want to see him sinless? So, I think that's probably one of the greatest metaphysical ghosting tactics of, of practicing the Course. When Jesus came on earth 2,000 years ago, he never taught publicly that the world was an illusion. He demonstrated by his attitude it's, that it was. <laughs> but he never spoke those words. So now it's an interesting phenomenon 2,000 years later to have a book where people kind of thumb through it and they go, Oh, this is what it's teaching. Well, actually, it's, it's aim, aimed at teaching forgiveness. And it offers a training program to come into that forgiveness. But nowhere in the book does Jesus ever give the instructions to go around and tell people and treat people as if they're illusions. Talk about going to, from A to Z and going around and dinging everybody with Z, when clearly there has to be an emotional a catharsis, a tra transformation of consciousness that goes first in which you come to a state of mind, but that that's the highest state of mind. You can say that the Holy Spirit can look upon the world in that way, and the Holy Spirit sees the world as neutral, but but Jesus never says you, the you he's pointing to in the in the Course most of the time, he never says, you know, you, to you the world is neutral. No, he actually has a whole workbook for a you that believes that the world is anything but neutral. It's very attached to bodies, it's very attracted and repulsed by many things about bodies. And, and he's got a whole training program, but he's not really saying that you're to go around and see your brother as an illusion. He's just saying, are you willing to see him sinless? And, and part of that is to let those judgments and those emotions come up into awareness so that they can be dealt with, not to try to skip over them. He actually goes so far one time to say that really that would be like the inappropriate use of denial. Um, the, the appropriate use of denial is to deny the belief that error can hurt you and to try to dismiss or uh, disregard the body completely is the inappropriate use of denial in the sense that, that the body is part of your awareness as you perceive yourself. So if you deny part of the awareness as you perceive yourself, you are literally denying the power of the mind. Because the power of the mind was used to project the body. You see, if you try to skip over to Z and just go, you're an illusion, it's an illusion, it's all an illusion. It's probably the biggest example of metaphysical ghosting in Course in Miracles groups. For everyone there in the Course group, and imagine for the new people that are coming in for the first time, and they, they get to hear, everybody is an illusion. People start to open up emotionally, they start to talk about their hurts, their pains, their wounds and everything, and then get over it, it's an illusion. You know, that's like trying to come in with Z, when you're just starting out with ABC. You have to start out where, where you emotionally perceive yourself and then open up to being shown another way of looking at everyone and everything. But that's what the mind training is about, the entire workbook is designed to take you into that experience. So it's the same with the body, the, bro the body of a brother, sister's illusion, sickness is an illusion. You know, these, these are pointing to a very, very high state of mind, but to presume that you are at that frame of mind and to speak as if you are at that, that state of mind, if you do not experience it that way, there would be an a lack of integrity even in that. So I think it's good that you're raising this because um, it's more of just taking an honest open look at what you are feeling 
and what you are thinking, and what you are believing, and then being willing to be shown another way, and keep coming with that little willingness with the Holy Spirit, and tapping into the Holy Spirit over and over and over, <coughs> moment by moment. That's much more authentic than trying to use a metaphysical ghost line. And I have heard people, you know, who go into hospitals and somebody's in traction, they're banging on the, the cast or whatever, you know. Why did you do this to yourself? And different kind of things, you know, it's, this isn't really following guidance at all. You know, it's like taking something that you read in a book and trying to, you know, apply it verbally when psychologically it's not an experience at all. And, and what does that really teach if you're trying to teach something verbally that you don't have a full faith and belief in or a full awareness of? Thank you.